today's painting we're doing a painting at uh, Dead Horse Beach and I found out the story behind it but I'll have to share that with you later anyway you get you get an idea <laughs> I'm doing the drawing it's a uh, we were at Salem Willows and there's a beach there Dead Horse Beach uh, the day was overcast and windy very windy and it this presents a lot of problems for the watercolor painter, the plein air painter in general, because wind shakes the board and it uh, causes a lot of unnecessary nervous energy. So I'm translating that into my brushwork as you see. I'm trying to be really expressive with the brushwork in this painting from beginning to end, simplify the shapes, simplify the strokes that go into making those shapes. Um, and I'm very much thinking about uh, the big mid value. The big mid value is, is a uh, idea that um, when we're looking at our motif, uh, we look, or I tend to look for three values the lights and the darks, which are usually more obvious, and the mid value, which is making up the bulk of the painting generally, or the bulk of the motif. In this case, I observe the mid value to be this value which I'm stating now. It's a dark shape uh, that is basically the distant land uh, or bluff that has a tree on it, and it feeds down into some rocks. You'll notice as the painting nears completion that this big value presents itself. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm working quite dark and with a dry brush technique. In other words, I'm working on dry paper and skidding the brush along the paper. The rough paper helps in this effort to create a shimmering brush stroke, which um, translates into texture, translates into um, a raking light, um, translates into uh, movement as well with that uh, flurry you just saw I applied the the whole tree that's up on top of the bluff maybe one stroke uh, from beginning to end and um, created the bulk of the tree um, it's uh, the colors that are used in this painting are pretty simple alizarin crimson neutral tint and viridian go into everything and uh, in some cases, as in the tree, I'm using a little more of the viridian. In some cases, in the rocks and sand, I'm using a little more alizarin and graying it <coughs> throughout the painting with uh, neutral tint. So I'm working with smaller brushes now and details, but still trying to maintain that dry brush uh, tempo that I started in the beginning with the sky. I'm uh, doing some washes into the sand now with alizarin and viridian and a little bit of neutral tint and extending it into these main rocks and you can start to see the big mid value shape uh, as I fill in these whites that are the tops of rocks how that big value shape is extending from the top of the painting down through the grassy bluff into the stones and then swooping down into this left-handed corner of the painting. Uh, one big shape that um, is made of, uh, you know, a variety of tones, but as I'm squinting, they, uh, they appear as one, as one big shape. That helps me in putting things in proportion and creating a strength through simplicity, which is one of our goals in paintings, uh, um, creating a strength and simplicity, is um, what the artist strives to do. The painting is always has a better result if you can simplify color, sim uh, simplify the tonal values, and simplify the shapes. Doesn't mean that they're less dynamic or less interesting. It means that we we're combining the smaller shapes into larger shapes or the smaller values into larger values and here's the finished piece um, quite dramatic dead horse beach